Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. They say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And I'm on here today because I am copying one of my favorite YouTubers, Robin H. She did a video hmm, probably about two or three weeks ago, maybe two. Um, uh, it was a tour of her wax storage and she showed us all the wax that she had um, in her stash, things she had in stock, and um, I thought it was so much fun. I love seeing how other people store their wax and what they keep and what they like to have, you know, on hand, and um, I thought it would be fun to share mine. Um, I get such great ideas from other people and I hope that I can share something that would give somebody else a great idea. So uh, I'm going to film my uh, where I store my wax. I'm gonna do it in snippets, like little sections, and then somehow splice it all together and hope it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I hope that you probably won't see my face again because I will be filming and talking and moving and showing you. So um, I'm hoping at the end uh, to remind everyone, please leave a comment. It would be great if you'd share your thoughts and ideas. Um, let's see how this goes. So this is take one of Linda's wax tour. <laughs> To begin now okay this is where we're going to start the tour this is my buffet bureau whatever you call it credenza that is in my dining room and many of you will recognize it i often film my videos sitting in front of it uh, this is where i store candles wax all things scented and decor some decor um, especially things that I need to get quickly. Um, that is my upstairs stash. I'm gonna show you the, the contents of the two drawers, or two doors down below, the sliding doors here on the front. And then I will um, go downstairs and show you the rest. Here we are on the left side of the bureau, down below. Try to squat and not make everyone dizzy. Um, under here I have mostly candle related things, you know, candle holders. This one holds a taper candle, so does that pine cone one, some plates, just things that I grab that are handy down here, my incense burner. Then up here I have a drawer. And in my drawer, I have all of my Scentsy bulbs. They're not all of them. I have some extras downstairs, but these are the ones that I'm using. A lot of them are colored blue, green, blue, orange, clear, a couple of small 15 watts. But I have one Edison bulb. These are, a, this is a bulb for some of my Ikea globe lights. <laughs> I have these taper candles, which I really like. Uh, they are battery operated and they actually look quite nice. In the winter time, I use them quite a bit and they I feel safer with using those. Some batteries. Here we have um, some twinkle light sets, four boxes, the batteries that I need, plus a lighter. That's that drawer. I'll stand up here and go to the next drawer. And in here, I have an assortment of volatile holders, tea light holders. Um, I have this cool light, it plugs in, that black plug there, and it lights up and I sometimes put it under things. I also have these uh, candle guards. So if you're using real candles, you put those on and they catch the drip. I really like that, I don't like a mess. Here I have some uh, battery operated volatives, which I really like. A little crystal here. I don't know what that's doing in there. Here I have an assortment of twinkle lights. I use twinkle lights quite a bit in, in my life. 
Um, over here I have some Body Shop Aroma Diffuser refills. I have these in my car sometimes and in spots. So I have some of those. This is some Palo Santo, real wood, that you can light, that I light outside. Uh, some leftover um, reed diffusers, I don't know why. And then here is my assortment of, current assortment of incense and a little incense holder. Anyway, that's this side of the cabinet and then it just slides shut like so and nice and tidy. Here I am on the other side, on the left, or the right side rather. Uh, this is where I store all of my wax bars that are in play. I have lots downstairs as you'll see when I take you down there, but this is sort of my cabinet and I'm sitting on the floor right now, which is what I do when I'm looking in my cabinet. I sit on my floor. My husband makes fun of me. He comes in the house and, oh, there's Linda sitting on the floor. <laughs> but it allows me to sort of um, play around in here and decide things. So let me scoot a little closer. So on the top shelf, I have my Bath and Body Works candles that are in play. I have uh, a Palo Santo at the back here. Oops, sorry, back there. And then this one is White Tea and Sage, which is a nice summer one and my summer boardwalk and a little um, dark amber and oud. I have my Scentsy Go in here. I have a um, just a vendor or a retail wax campfire marshmallow uh, country home candle. Uh, I'm gonna take this one camping with me. I'm going uh, on Sunday. That wax is difficult to warm in, or to melt in Scentsy warmers. It's just a little hard. It's actually difficult to warm even in a vault of, but I, I'm gonna try it. Uh, right now I have some pods on the go. Uh, this is sugared strawberry, which I'm going to take camping with my Scentsy Go. And this is my Bonfire Beach. I have that in my car right now. I love it in my car. Highly recommend. Very pleasant scent. Not overpowering, but there. And people have all commented. Then I have a little basket here. It has my oils, my diffuser oils, and some of my wallflower plug filler oils. So I have white tea and sage, which I like in my bathroom. I, as I've mentioned before, I don't use um, Scentsy uh, mini warmers in my bathroom. I use these. One of uh, um, my favorites is Marshmallow Fireside. I have several of those. I have a strawberry pound cake, which I love. I think I talked about this in a video. It's great. It's going to go in my back landing after that one's done. I have a vanilla birch room spray. Love vanilla birch. Then uh, this is the car. This is the body shop. And Sage has one as well. Uh, and you put those little, dis those little felt squares in that. You plug it in your car. Uh, I have a bunch of sage oils. Now, sage is a company I talked about. Um, that's where I get my oils. I find they are stronger than Scentsy's. I do have some Scentsy ones as well. This is an orange one. It's just really great for freshening your house. Anyway, I have those. And uh, I keep those up here. Oops. It's hard to do this with one hand. Here I have some sets from Sage. This was a great Christmas scent uh, collection they had last year. And I um, have a few, they, ha they all have a bit of scent in them. So uh, the scents are um, things like Deep Forest, Sugar Plum Fairy, Peppermint Twist, Festive Friday, and all the feels. So I really like that. And I also have my Sleep set from Sage. They're the restful set and they are nice. I use them in a diffuser at night. Then I have here this little tin which you'll probably recognize as a Scentsy tin. I think it was from uh, last fall set. And I have caramel vanilla strawberry, peppermint vanilla, awesome apple, uh, what was one? Marshmallow buttercream, I think. I can't see. 
in the video. Well, anyway, and then I do have one, uh, a Body Shop Golden Apple that I got at the second hand store. <laughs> anyway, those are in here. I use those quite a bit. And then I have uh, some of my sage sleep ones, the stress release and the dream state. And then, I, oh, I have this peppermint one. I got it at uh, Home Sense. Um, and what I do with that is I have a spray bottle of water out on my back patio and I put a couple of drops on that and then I, we, I spray spray it when it's hot. I, we spray it on everyone. It's got a really, really fine mist. Highly recommend that. <laughs> I'm taking it camping with me. We took it to the air show when we went. It's great. And then I have an assortment of tea lights. A bin there, some larger ones there. Um, I have some of those little teeny candles in the back that I use with my German uh, Christmas thing, which I'll show you at Christmas and other tea lights. Anyway, on the bottom is where I have all my Scentsy. And as I mentioned, I keep just what I think I'll go for up here. So it tends to be seasonal. Um, I do have a little turntable in here just so that I can turn it uh, on this on this turntable let me move something that's here on this turntable I have um, these are all my uh, soothing scents that I have been using for my overnight warmer cotton candy cookie um, hundred acre wood uh, um, angel and then I've been trying spring sparkling magnolia for sleep uh, actually that was quite nice it's a very light scent so it didn't do well in a regular room for me i have some more bedroom scents here lavender cotton coconut cotton a pineapple vanilla coconut vanilla cashmere and corduroy which is back thankfully and then my called secondhand haul of French lavender that I just grabbed the other day. Oh, I don't have a sticker on that. I usually, it doesn't matter. I know it's secondhand because of the logo. I usually put the sticker on. You'll see that always in my videos. And that's so that I know when I have multiple bars, I know which one's the oldest and I can pull it up to use first, uh, especially if I'm waiting for them to strengthen up. Here I have acorn, toasted acorn and oak, which I'm not using so much now, but I have it in my coffee tree. Again, this is in my club, and I don't reach for it often, but I'm glad I have it. And then I have a mocha doodle, but I don't have any extras of mocha doodle. I have, well, I might have one more downstairs, you'll see. Here I have my sugar, pink haze, and love and happiness. And then here's simply vanilla, uh, sandalwood tangerine, uh, graduation. And Hendrix. So these are all sort of. Oops, 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 oops. Jeez, can't do a video without dropping things, hey? Eh? That um, I consider my sort of softer, soothing type scents that I use in my bedroom. So they're at the back more. This back here is all bakery. Um, I have vanilla waves, caramel vanilla delight, apple butter frosting. Toffee butter crunch, cinnamon buttercream, and cinnamon vanilla. Now I have more bakery downstairs. These are just the ones that I thought would be um, appropriate to warm now. I haven't broken into the toffee butter crunch or the apple butter frosting yet. This one I've used. This I've mentioned that before in a video. Caramel vanilla delight. That one I've been using like crazy. Uh, it's a great summer bakery. Anyway, and all of these I've sort of got stacked in categories. Like this is a floral category and I'm going to be warming through these in the next couple weeks. These are my summer bars that I'm going to. So Mahalo Coconut, Hibiscus Pineapple, Flower Child, which I have and then I've been mixing that with Lush Gardenia. Uh, just to give it a little more something and then two bars of summer holiday, which I love that bar I may end up warming one and putting one in my off-season stash at the end I'll, I'll show you that when I get downstairs Then in behind I have 
the strawberries, that's sun, uh, stra uh, summer moonlight. This is a sugared strawberry. This is strawberry swirl. This is bird of berry of paradise, which was a bring back my bar a while ago. And then this is um, Big Hero 6, which is a strawberry. So these are scents that I'll warm probably together. Um, the the summer, summer moonlight would be like a bedroom or my office. And then the strawberry, sugared strawberry in the living room. Berry of Paradise in the living room, and then the Swirl and Big Hero kind of as kitchen scents. So that's waiting to be used. I plan on warming through that uh, in the next little bit. Then in here, I have twos of quite a few of these. This is Make a Splash. I plan on at least warming through one, and then I'll probably tuck the other way in my off season. The same with Atlantic Air, which I love. I have two of those. I have one Coastal Sunset left. Um, not sure if I'll get to that. I may tuck that one away. And then two Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach is in one of my clubs, so I'll get some of that over the winter. Um, I really like this one. It lasts so long, though, so when you put it in, when I put it in in my living room, it lasts forever so you don't change it oops oops sorry guys it's hard to film and use one hand anyway that's my sort of um, fresh as well as this pile which I'm going to warm through this is aloe vera and ivy I got this I think at a flash sale in March clearly March I really like this as a melon green uh, I'm not big on a lot of real green, but I like this one quite a bit, and it's very fresh and it does really well. And prickly pear and agave, which I will also warm through. I do have a bar of my dear Watson, which will probably stay in here. This is one I use in my family room. Um, I think I have extras of this downstairs. Summer rain. This is my only bar of this, and I will. This was to bring back my bar. I didn't put club it or anything, but I thought it'd be nice to have one. So I'm thinking maybe on a rainy summer day or something close closer to September. This will probably be in my um, uh, transition video that I'm going to do pretty quick. I have Arctic Kiss. I have a couple more downstairs. I really like this. Um, I'm actually warming right now the scent of the month for August, Glacier Water, and it started out like Articus does, but um, it's not doing super well in my living room. Anyway, more on that later on my empties. Fearless by Nature, which I have went through a whole bar when my grandchildren were here, and this is my last bar, but it's quite a nice sagey sort of um, green scent that I'll probably use also in my family room. And then uh, this is my pile. This is definitely going to get warm. Pina Colada Cha Cha. I haven't warmed this. Um, I did um, warm Havana Cabana and uh, I'll talk about that in my empties. This one I'm going to give it a try before the end of the month. Apple Teeny Splash uh, came in with box. I'm going to try to warm that sometime. Blueberry Rush. I have a bit of this downstairs. I like it. I did warm it just recently with blueberry cheesecake. Um, didn't last long. I have a bar of sun ripened berry and red, white, and berry pie. So this is sort of my berry. So this pile and this pile will be warmed as well as probably um, some of the fresh in the back there. And then this here is just the 10 new bars minus the pear one, which I have coming. The pear one went home with somebody from my sip and sniff. They chose that as their door prize, so I don't have it, And um, but I'm getting it. But So I've warmed through all of these, and I have these three to go, and I'm doing them all in my bedroom or my office. So I'll have some feedback on those, some thoughts. Then I have some bricks that I keep up here. I have some downstairs as well. In the back I have um, caramel salted caramel toffee, um, blueberry cheesecake, vanilla bean buttercream sugar, and sun-kissed citrus. And then here I have um, blue grotto and 
skinny dipping. And I'm actually warming skinny dipping right now in my kitchen. And then this is my little stash. That's all that's left from my last year's fall and winter testers. Because as I mentioned before in another video, I gave those away at my sip and sniff. Anyway, that's this section. Okay, we're downstairs now, and this is my storage room. We call it the cave. It's just a weird room uh, downstairs, and I think my stepdad just built it to store things in. It's got carpet. We keep our downstairs spare vacuum down here. <laughs> As you can see, there's loads of cupboards, storage cupboards. I'll peek in a couple of them for you. Anyway, and I have a clothes rack here. You can see that because once in a while when I have a bunch of people staying at my house, uh, people can store their suitcases in here and then hang clothes on the rolling rack. And um, I store <laughs> extras in here uh, just odds and bods um, that's my little camping stash here I have um, I'm starting to collect some bars for my transition video there over here and my mylar covers that I use for camping you can see uh, this is where I store my cleaning products from Scentsy and I have yeah you know, thank the pandemic back in the day when everyone went panicked Went out and bought big jugs of Lysol and toilet bowl cleaner. So I'm all set. <laughs> and anyway, it's a great spot for extra food storage when my pantry upstairs is full. And um, when my granddaughters are here, I empty the shelf at the bottom and they can put their, set some of their clothes on there and just grab for them. So anyway, this is the cave. Now I'm looking in those top cabinets on one side here. I store all of my decor, my tabletop decor, candle holders, you know, that sort of thing. And then on this side, I have other decor items, just knickknacks, seasonal stuff that I have nowhere to put when I don't need it. So I store it up here. And so very handy. Here are the bottom half of my cupboards. Here behind my rolling rack is one. I store suitcases and things like that in there. On this side, this is my sort of sensey storage and camping storage. <laughs> Some great shelving. On the bottom here, I um, store just camping things. This is, I'm now currently in camping season, so most of it's in the trailer, but in the winter time I bring things in that would freeze outside and put them down here. In this middle section, I have my cotton balls, extra cotton balls. That's my spring summer testers that I put away. I have my Mexican blankets. I've talked about that in my yard tour. I like those for outside for camping. So I have about four outside in my wicker basket. I have several in my camper. <laughs> And these are extras, so if I have a party or something, I take them out for people. And then I have my extra um, Bath and Body Works candles. These are all fall candles and a reed diffuser. Uh, store them down here. They'll go upstairs in the, uh, in the fall. And then on this um, shelf, oops, sorry, I have some extras. Um, I have my very limited supply now of Scentsy Soak. I've given quite a few away as door prizes and things, birthday gifts. I have this Happy Wax Pumpkin Latte tucked away. I have some bricks, extra bricks back here. Fluffy Fleece, Sun Kiss Citrus, and Two Jammy Time. And um, here we have two... Uh, spiced eggnog. I have a vanilla cinnamon maple, orange pomander, and two welcome homes. Uh, here I have a few room sprays. This whole thing was covered in room sprays, but my daughter um, 
took probably about eight of them home with her. And this is my last lonely fragrance flowers. I gave my granddaughters each several for their rooms. And then the last one I have is Coastal Sunset. And then back here in this bin, I have my extra scent packs and uh, some scent circles. And then I have some pods and extra light bulbs in case one of my girl gang runs out of a bulb or needs a bulb. I have winterberry apple tea in pods. Oops. Coastal sunset in pods. Blue grotto, which I should actually get to using right away. This is welcome home and then vanilla bourbon. So those I've sort of tucked away till the fall and I plan on getting some more, of course. Anyway, that's where I keep, I do have some scent packs up in my linen closet, still in the package, and then some down here. Anyway, up here, you will see all of my warmers. They go way back to the back and down here as well. Um, I do keep the boxes, but I have a big, big store room behind this room. <laughs> And I have all the boxes on the shelf, but I like to have my warmers handy to um, to grab. This is the other side of the same cabinet. Down there, sleeping bags, picnic blankets. You get the gist. Um, on this shelf, let me see. Uh, in this is my little uh, mini plug plug-in stand for ceramic. I have in here extra tea lights. You'd think there was a shortage on tea lights or something the way I stock them. Uh, some more wallflower plugs to use. These are all off season. Back there is another box, a whiff, empty whiff box. My daughter's winter wax. She asked me to store for her. She, I have more room than her. Here is my bin of all my mini warmers mostly white love me white i have the silver sparkly silver one here i keep it in a bag so it and i do have the blue tie-dye and then this one i got at the second hand store but all the rest are white this is one of my favorites this little house that will go out in the fall along with little little oot who will come out with big oot on in the autumn uh, fall time as well up here, the last bit of my um, warmers. I did keep, I do keep the Olive Glow Medium White warmer in the box just because I think it's a little more fragile. So I tucked it away in there. And here in this basket, I have all of my, well, I have the Scentsy Wallflower, or I mean, um, Wall Fan Diffuser. And I use this one on my back landing in the, in the fall and winter. And then I have all of my seasonal decor, um, diffuser, Bath and Body Works sets. I have some cool ones. This is one of my favorite. Let me grab it here. I love this one for winter. Anyway, I keep those in here as well. Anyway, that's the cupboards. Now you'll see my wax trolley. This is the only one I have. I have one. And like Robin, I got mine at um, Michael's. And I did keep the wheels on mine because I do on occasion, especially if people are staying and using this space for their luggage and stuff, I roll it out of here. So um, I like to have it on wheels. Anyway, it's so chock a buck full, but so far I only want one. <laughs> I'm trying to keep limit myself to one. Let's see how it goes. And I'll show you the categories. I have them labeled. The bottom one is rare and bring back my bars. And by that, I mean bring back my bars that are not in my club that I'm not getting regularly. Here is my off-season bin. So whichever season is in play, I keep, for the most part, upstairs. Uh, maybe some extras in other bin, uh, shelves of this bin. But... Um, I keep, I will be putting my leftover summer bars in here and taking these out shortly. 
This is my licensed bin. This is a overflow bin and you'll see what I mean when I take it out. Then I have regular stock and then I have a bin I had to, I had loaded up on some bars that were um, going away and I wanted extras. I have most of them in my club, but I wanted extras because you know, you get one in your club every three months, that's not enough. So that's that bin. Anyway, I'm gonna take them out and just quickly show you what's in. So this is my rare or bring back my bars bin. And as I mentioned, they're bars that I don't have clubbed. This is it, this bin What I for these bars. And here I have Zeppelin. That was a bring back my bar in the last go round. Oh, these are ghostly greetings, three of them. I got them on the flash sale. Love the scent. Um, that's all I have. And then Mandarin Moon, one bar of that in there. Over here I have the My Dear Watsons. I mentioned I had some extras. Again, this is my stock. I thought I'd really like to warm this in my family room. I have one bar, one lonely bar. So sorry if I'm moving around too much. Marshmallow Mint, that was in my club that I lost. And this is the only one I have left. I have a hazelnut frosting that my dear friend Elizabeth Quinn sent me, thankfully. I haven't tried it yet, I'm saving it for fall. And I have also from her, this was in my club that I lost, Stroop Waffle Delight, she sent me that. This one here is just a, a retail wax I've had a while, patchouli and vanilla. Anyway, these bars are quite precious, especially the Stroop Waffle the Marshmallow Mint and the Hazelnut Frosting. On this side I have Route 66 and then three Blueberry Rush. I stocked up on that. Over here I have French Kiss, two bars. I got that in a flash sale. Um, I had this in my club and I took it out because um, I was trying to make room for other things. I love this scent. It's fake, uh, but it was a one room bar for me, my bedroom. So I had to make a tough decision. The same with um, my wish, the same thing. I had it in my club. I'm kind of regretting this one, but oh well, you make these decisions. Under my wish is toasted marshmallow. I have, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> three, three bars left of toasted marshmallow. Over here is very peri pumpkin from the last bring back my bar, warmed one cube. I'm hoping I'll be able to do this one uh, mixed in the fall. It was not a favorite of mine, but then I have a couple, I think, of, oh no, just one of coconut cotton. That was a bring back my bar two rounds ago. Shimmer and oh, snuggle up. Love snuggle up. This is my last bar. <laughs> I wish that would come back. I, I would love to see that back. Anyway, then I did haul Silhouette, a couple of bars, and that last flash sale. It's in the clearance still. I might grab a few more. I have a bar of Aussie Palm and a bar of Boho. And I thought Boho will be a nice fall scent. I like the Aussie Plum. It just wasn't club worthy for me, but I'm glad I have another bar. Here we have Strawberry Swirl. And then two or three bars of, I guess three, of Blackberry Meringue. I haven't worn that one yet, but they, that was in the flash sale as well. Strawberry Swirl, I have one bar upstairs in that one. And I, I hauled that, I think, in a clearance as well. And it was... Um, I did have it in my club for a short time, way back when, and um, took it out to make room for something else. Anyway, here I have two bars of sweet plum pastry. That's it for me though. And then down here, two bars of apple s'mores. And this is one I'm hoping, hoping somebody helps me vote this one back. I love apple s'mores. Anyway. Those are precious. 
Over here I have Cutie Pie Cupcake, a couple of bars. Uh, that was in the Bring Back My Bars just recently. I have three, but I don't have it in my club. So, and then at the bottom here, my last two bars of Vanilla Oud. My, one of my favorite all-time bars. I'm hoping that takes us way back. I would have ordered, I think in the last flash sale, they had a bundle with it in, and at the very last minute, they took it out. I'm not sure why. Anyway, that's my rare and bring back my bar. I have my off-season bin, so most of this is going to make its way upstairs pretty quick. Uh, when I, probably at the end of the month, I'll start switching out. Over here, I have maple apple bourbon, and this was in my club all spring and summer so i have a few bars of that the same with christmas cottage two bars of that that was in my club glad to have those i won't have to order them scary good also was in my club so i have quite a few of those yes three of those so those will do me i have a pumpkin cinnamon swirl and a fairy tale pumpkin and the fairy tale pumpkins left over for when it was sent of the month it's not a fave of mine, but I don't mind it. Oops. Just Breathe. I ordered a bar just before the catalog ended, and I have it in the seasonal because I think it would be better warmed in the fall and winter. Caramel Apple Craze. Autumn Sunset, which I really like. And then two bars of Cedar Cider, one of my all-time favorites. And that was in my club all spring, summer. So that's why I have the extras. Then I have partial bars of clove and cinnamon from last year that I just tucked away when I knew I wasn't going to warm it. And the same with Cinnamon Bear. I like to have bars of both of those. They mix well with other things. Very Snowy Spruce was in my club during the spring and summer. Love it. So I have a bar of that. And then here is three bars. I believe it's three of Black Forest Pine. Love, love, love this scent. It's it's in my club, thankfully, because it did not make its way into the catalog. Just for you, which is a bar I really like. Icicles and Evergreen. And this one is, I think, back from my um, consultant's kit back in October. It was the scent of the month in November. Not a fan of this one. Have one left. Two bars of spiced eggnog, which I may end up... Um, I have two bricks as well. Uh, this is in my club. I may end up uh, maybe selling a bar to my girl gang um, if they want it because it's not available. Spiced chestnut. I have apple chestnut, rather. I have two bars of that. That was from the scents of the season, and that's still in the clearance. I really like those scents. Um, I, I would buy more if I needed it, but I'm not going to stock stockpile it. Uh, let's see. Maybe it'll get super reduced, and then I'll be tempted. And my Arctic Kiss, two bars of that. I have a couple, one upstairs as well, and this is back in the catalog. I, I had it uh, in my club for a bit. Fireside Chats. I have two bars of that. I have a Wassell Wonderland and a Berry, Bayberry and Kern. So, as you can see, oh, wait a minute. I have a little bit more at the back here. Polar Bear Hug. Love that. That's one of my favorites. Back in the catalog. The same with Silver Bells, thankfully. I thought this might be my last bar ever because I wasn't sure. Vanilla Mint, which didn't come back, so now I have this bar. And then Best of Snow at the bottom, which I will probably warm at Christmas or in the winter. Spiced Amber Glow, this was in my club all spring and summer. Uh, Winterberry Apple Tea. Oh, there's another Spiced Amber Glow. And then I have two bars of Buckleberry. That from the Bring Back the Bar. I liked it and I wanted to have a couple for the fall winter season. So that's my off season. So now we're in my license bin. Uh, this shrunk quite a bit because I did warm through several of the bars that I had in here for my grandchildren. A lot of these are repeats. Let's get started. So I have all of the Harry Potter bars in abundance. Um, 
they were released in the spring and summer and I think they were fall and winter scents. So though I did warm a couple of bars of each, I continued to purchase. I wasn't sure whether they were going to bring them back or how long it would take them. So um, I stocked up. So I won't need to be ordering them for a while. They are all in my club as well. <laughs> And as I, I think I've mentioned in a video, I do plan on choosing my favorites out of the Harry Potter and keeping them. But I have four bars of Ravenclaw here. Yes. Um, I have three bars of Gryffindor. Four bars of Hufflepuff, the bakery scent. And four bars of Slytherin, which is really nice. I'm going to start warming this pretty, well, pretty quickly. I think a lot of these are going to be in my transition. I do have two bars of fresh ice. This is also in my club, and I'm looking forward to warming that. I have one bar of Aladdin Three Wishes. That's also a blueberry scent. A couple of Dumbo. And then that other Aladdin bar that was in clearance, um, Arabian Nights. I haven't warmed that, have no idea what it smells like, but I will probably get to warming that in the fall, winter as well. Then I do have the Evil Queens. I have Ursula, Poor Unfortunate Souls, Melissa Fent, Mistress of Evil. I always have a hard time. And then the Queen, Evil Queen, just one bite. I have two of those. Yes, two of those. And those are great apple fall scents. I can probably start warming this one and uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls quickly. So those will be in my transition. Back here I have the dark side of the forest. I think I have three bars of that. I have two bars of Mandalorian Era of Adventure, one of my favorite bars. I don't have the dark side or the light side of my club, but I do have Era of, Era of Adventure in my club. I stocked up on the dark side and the light side, and then that'll probably do me till next May 4th when it's re-released. I have one more bar of Hero, Big Hero 6. You saw that upstairs in my cabinet. Below that is the light side. I have one bar left of Angel, which will be exclusively warmed in my overnight warmers. I have three bars of The Lion King, which... Um, I don't know if I have this in my club still. If I do, I probably will take it out because three is enough. And then I have a Jack's Obsession in the bottom here, to, ready to roll. Um, I like that bar. I didn't love it, love it like a lot of people. Anyway, that's my license bin. So this is what I call my overflow. It's just bars that I've ordered in mass um, to have a stock of. As you know, I have quite a bit of cookies for Santa. I ordered that like crazy from the clearance because I love it. It's a very strong scent. In fact, I have a few more down there. So I think that will last me. I think that gives me 10 bars. Um, but I really like it. So I'm sure I'll warm through that this winter. I have a couple of bars left of birthday wishes. Um, I like that one too. It used to be in my club, but I found I didn't reach for it. It's sort of a unique... Oh, I have a third one. There's three. So that'll do me for the amount of time I reach for it. I do have several uh, Summer Moonlight that I stocked up on. Like I mentioned in a video, I wanted to have some on hand for the winter. I have Pink Sugarberry Mint, which I didn't club. Instead, I stocked up three bars of that and that should do me. I have Love and Happiness, three bars of that. It's in my club, but um, when I warm it, I typically go through a whole bar. So I wanted a few extra just to tide me over. I have Vanilla Bourbon. This is not in my club. I might be sorry, but I can't have all things. I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe I won't be sorry. <laughs> That's quite a few. I didn't remember how many I had. I really like it, and it'll be a great uh, fall bar for my kitchen. I have some Simply Vanilla. This is in my club, but I use it a lot. I have one, two, three overflow bars. I have three overflow bars of sugar and three of pink haze. Both of those are also in my club, but again, as I mentioned, um, when you only get them quarterly, 
and you use them a lot, um, you want extras. I have one bar left of Graduation. I really like that scent. It's a very bookish suede. I really like it, but it doesn't perform at all for me. So, I mean, I like it, and I like the what I can smell of it, but it's just not strong enough. And then I have four bars of Blonde Wood and Moonflower, and this I really love, and I'm sure I'll be going through those bars, and it's in my club, as I mentioned. So that is my overflow. This is my regular stock bin. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it's just because it's bars that um, I, I have in my club. I get regularly. Um, I will warm them regularly, so I've put them here. <laughs> anyway, let's look at them. So back here, I have an extra Toffee Butter Crunch. I don't have a ton of Toffee Butter Crunch. I think I have the one upstairs and that one. Uh, vitamin R, relax. Love that one. And it's in my club, but that's the only one I have. The same with Hendrix. I have this one and the one upstairs. It's in my club, but I only get it once every three months. Then I have a couple of my home. I really, really like that one, and I just warmed it in my living room. Uh, Midnight Fig. Over here, I think I have quite a few of those. Midnight Fig. Yes, so that's five Midnight Fig. It's in my club, and I think uh, I'll have to maybe... If I get desperate, I could take it out of my club. I really like it. It's very earthy and rich. I really, really like it. And my one of my favorite all-time bars is Vanilla Blackberry. I have three of those. It's in my club. But I think I'll be end up wishing I had more bars. Because I don't think people liked it, and so I don't think it'll come back. But that's the way of it. Then, next, I have some satin sheets which is also in my club, but I only have two, and um, I won't get any more, and hopefully it comes back. I have a mocha doodle and a coffee tree, and I, as you remember, I had two upstairs, one of each, and then I have two hug and a mug down here, so that'll do me um, for a bit. I won't have to order more. I have vanilla waves here. I didn't club that. And I have th these two plus um, the one upstairs. And then I have two stargazing. Love, love that scent. It's in my club. And those are just extras. Over here I have World Traveler, one of my favorite, favorite bars. Love it. I have two of those. It's also in my club. I did grab... Um, another sun ripened berry. So I have this one and the one upstairs. It's a nice berry scent. Not spectacular. I didn't club it or anything, but I thought it would be nice. I should actually take that up and warm it um, while the weather's warm. It may, it'll make for sure my transition video. Red, white, and berry pie. I have two of those. It's in my club for now. I've warmed it a couple times. I want to really decide whether I want it to get, keep getting it. We are getting maraschino cherry uh, at Christmas, and that might be similar. We'll see. Maybe I'll keep it until then, and then I can compare. Sandalwood tangerine, which was from the Father's Day collection this year, and it's lovely. I think I have quite a few, though. Yes. Holy moly. Yes. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I might have to take that one out of my club. I think it'll come back next year with Father's Day. I think it was quite popular. Then here are my hard to come by bars. This is my almond croissant. Oh, toasted acorn and oak made it back. I have this one and I have one upstairs. Oats and honey. That I have, let's see, how many? Three of those, that's in my club and that was from Bring Back My Bar January, last January. Really, really like that one. It's a great bar. I'll use it a lot this winter. Almond croissant, as I mentioned, another almond croissant. So I have two almond croissants and I'll get another one in my club in September. So that's not a lot considering how much I would warm that in the winter. Apple butter frosting, I have this one and then a second one here and then one upstairs. So three apple butter frosting, it's in my club. But again, 
I'll be warming through that this year. And then butter pecan and another one down here. So those are my hard to come by special bars, almond croissant, apple butter frosting, and butter pecan. Anyway, that is my regular stash. Anyway, one last little bin. That's my Scentsy Extras, and I had to put this on the top because I didn't have room in my drawers, and this is just all of the uh, bakery from the Bring Back My Bar that we just had. Uh, Caramel Vanilla Delight. I have three of those. I have Lemon Coconut Chiffon. Three of those. Four Cotton Candy Cookie. I have a little bit of one upstairs, but I, I've warmed through several bars of that. I'm hanging on to it. I'm going to try it in my kitchen. French toast. I have six French toast. Um, these bars I'm going to experiment with. I didn't get a really good chance to warm them, and it was summer. So I'm waiting for winter warming to decide which ones are worthy for to keep my club. They're all in my club right now. And blueberry pancakes. I have four blueberry pancakes. <laughs> and then two kukui and coconut. I had that in my club. I'm not sure. I think those will go in my off-season bin when I switch it over. And these I'm hoping to get to warming when the weather cools down. But I stocked up <laughs> because that way if I decide not to, to keep them in my club I have a few. Anyway, that's that's my bin and my storage situation. I hope this was interesting <laughs> and helpful. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I showed you and um, please comment. Um, let me know what you do with your wax. How do you store it? Do you have bins like this? Do you have shelves? Do you keep it in boxes? And do you have a lot? Do I, is what I have a lot or is this the regular amount people have? That's the part. I have my whole girl gang looks at this bin and my upstairs bin and think they think I have tons of wax. And then I tell them, I think people have a lot of wax, not just me. So am I the only one who has wax like this? Let me know what you think. Anyway, I really appreciate you tuning in. And sorry, it's probably a little bit of a, you know, a movement, but it's really hard to film with holding it with one hand and sorting through things with another. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and come back soon. I'm going to be putting up my transition video next. Anyway, see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.